basically, meat prices are up about 8%, and that could double soon. There's a shortage of meat plant workers, and that means the beef may not arrive ground up, and you may have a whole chicken that you have to cut up yourself. BJ's, Costco, and Stop and Shop have a very lean selection of meat, and that's not a good thing when it comes with a purchase limit. Word from the butcher is it could get worse. A lot of the plants are not boning out the pork, so you won't be able to buy a boneless pork loin this weekend. Roxy's and Quincy keeps its shelves stocked for eager shoppers. Very exciting. Family has already put in orders. My sister wants something. There's plenty of cattle out there. But there's no, with all these plants closed down, who's going to process it? COVID-19 has sickened so many meat processing plant workers in the Midwest. Plants closed. The ones that are open are only operating at 30 percent. Gennaro's Eatery, known for the Italian meatballs, noticed the price spike two weeks ago. Chuck was like two ninety five. Now you're paying almost four dollars a pound, and that's just now. Meat companies will, you know, they'll take your order, and then the next day, you know, you know, when the delivery truck comes, it's missing half the stuff. Pizza could become the choice as a meat processing plant manpower problem is slaughtering the meat supply chain. Killing like pigs, even even pregnant, they're they're having to slaughter now, you know, just to get them into a processing plant before they close completely. The grocer here, worried about getting you your steak tips, offers this tip. Now's not the time to panic buy or hoard. That just makes the problem worse. Live in Quincy, Rondella Richardson, WCBB.